everyone, this is Ross Black Dragon, and welcome back to Let's Play Meridus. Now, when we last left off, we had found a compass tile, and it had pointed us towards the um, southeast. And that's where we're going to go this time. Alright, um, there's not much of an angle change, which mean, which means, uh, looks like we've got, as I said before, looks like we've got a long walk ahead of us. Oh. alright. Yeah. Stuff like that happens a lot. Oh. As many enemies are in this game, there's actually a limited number of them. Some enemies, well, also, oh, well, let's see. Huh. Oh. We're getting closer. We're definitely getting closer. I saw it wiggle more. And yet, we're... Oh. Okay, get the stuff by the door first, because that way, because uh, that's the... Oh. All right, then. There are actually, um, as massive as this game is, there are actually only ten different... Uh, there are only ten different types of enemies. Oh. Oh. What is with me and my luck in this? Like, like, I always get hearts exactly when I need them. I'm not complaining, I'm just like... Or are these hearts when I actually played the game for real? Like, my first playthrough of this game. Oh, that reminds me. I'm going to be doing 100% completion, which means I'm going to explore all 3,000 rooms. But, of course, that's 3,000 rooms. Um, so, I want to ask you guys, um, vote in the comments. Um, do you want me to um, explore all, like, uh, all 3,000 rooms on camera? Or, um, do you want me to just, like, do a montage, or, like... Because other than room exploration, there's also, uh, bosses, some, uh, mini-boss, like, um... Like... Like this... Army of Monsters rooms... Uh... There's a lot of stuff in this game. But, uh, so, like... It's not like, um... The room exploration isn't... Uh, nearly as tedious as it seems. Of course, that's only because it sounds absurdly tedious. It's actually not quite that bad. Oh, already? We moved out of the first area, and our awesome music, our awesome 90, 90s synth music, is gone. Ooh, a checkpoint. <clears throat> Checkpoints you can teleport between. by pressing enter, and then uh, moving around, waiting, and then pressing enter when the, when, uh, the, um, when the checkpoint you want to move to is flashing. On the map, they're shown as little asterisks. Yeah, um, ooh, I can uh, power things up. So close. Oh, well. Uh, uh, sometimes the music glitches and, like, it doesn't change when it should. Hmm. Yeah, um, some, as I was saying before, some rooms have, uh, have, like, tons of enemies. Other, oh crap, it's an invisible monster. Apparently it was over there. The invisible monsters drop a lot of, uh... Ooh, we can, pow we can power up now. Oh, I don't think I ever mentioned what Circuit Refill does. Circuit Refill is basically, um... It speeds up the cooldown time there. Like, after you attack, it allows you to attack again faster. It's, um... They're all useful. Don't focus on any one because uh, each level increases exponentially. You do not want to focus on one, or you'll hardly get anything powered up. Uh, 
as much as I love uh, love the first um, level music in this game, the other areas don't have nearly as good music. That's uh, something that's always been a bit of a downer for me about this game. Okay, save point. Yeah, remember, save points are are not checkpoints. Oh, it's a uh, rare um. Ooh, new enemy. Yeah, so these things, these are our first taste of, of respawning. Most enemies will go down in one hit. However, there are also um, enemies, usually mo more powerful ones, that will respawn in a new form a certain number of times each time you kill them. This one respawns once. And, um, alright, let's see. But yeah, there it is. Yeah, um, the stronger the enemy, the more experience it gives. And, by the way, um, these things, um, they don't drop crystals each time you kill them, but their projectiles turn into crystals when you, uh, each time you kill them, when they respawn. So, that's a, that's definitely useful to keep in mind with certain, with a certain enemy that will remain unmentioned until a later time. And let's see. Uh, only had a compass tile. Where are we? Oh, we've gone way off track. Right. My mistake. We're supposed to be going more, way more down than uh, than right. There. The star. Oh, by the way, these uh, enemies. Uh, they shoot stars, and they are, um, they're larger and more powerful than, uh, than, um, than circles. Oh, oh, and, ugh. Uh, that, that thing shoots lasers. It is... A very dangerous enemy, um, at least towards the beginning part of the game. They actually become, they become very common towards the end of the game, and they're pretty much a joke then. Uh, where? Uh, I, uh, I hated when this happened. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh you got it. Ugh! Looks like we found it. This is. The bot of the mini boss room. It's basically you fight a ton of enemies without any drops, and they just keep coming for a long time. And at the end, you get treasures and and crystals and and power ups and stuff. It's if you're if you're smarter at it, it's pretty uh, easy. But otherwise. If, if if you go t if you get too charge happy if you like uh, hold it down for too long, you, you it'll be a nightmare. You'll notice the screen uh, uh, changes color. This is actually uh, depending on um, like the amount of danger you're in, the number of enemies that are nearby. Normally it's jackpot. Oh, yeah. Those enemies shoot lasers. Lasers will rip through several layers of your shield, and they lock onto you, so they're very hard to dodge. I'm just going to be heading back. Let's see, where's the, uh, okay. Oh, we're almost done, so, um, I will, um, well, I guess, see you next time.